So we have a couple, and they're planning on having four kids. Uh, what is the probability that every single kid ends up being a girl? So solution. Uh, this is pretty easy to work out. So we want the probability that every single kid that's born is born a girl. Right? So what does that mean? That means that the first kid that is born is a girl. And it means that the second kid is also a girl. And the third one is a girl. And finally, the last one is also a girl. So whenever you see an and like this, what you want to do is you want to use the multiplication rule. Now you notice that um, it didn't say and in the original question. It just said all girls. So you, you do have to think about it, right? All girls means that the first one is a girl, and the second one is a girl, and the third one is a girl, and the fourth one is a girl. So what is the probability that the first kid ends up being born a girl? Well, there's only one way to be born a girl, and there are two ways to be born, right? So that's the probability that the first kid is a girl. Times, right, use the multiplication rule. Uh, you want the second one to be a girl. Again, one way to be born a girl, two ways to be born. And the third one is the same, one half. And the last one is the same as well. One way to be born a girl and two ways to be born. So you end up with one over two to the fourth and two to the fourth is 16. So one over 16. So the probability, if you're planning on having four kids, the probability that they're all girls is one over 16.